Good morning. I'm Ariana Perez. And I'm Rafael Perez. And, and this, this is, is TBN, TBN News. News. Kicking off the day, we'll have another update for you in fall sports. And then later on, we'll go down to the nurse's office for the first health tip of the year. Afterwards, we'll profile two gifted seniors in this week's segments of I Got Talent and High Profile. Then, as usual, we'll end the show with candid questions and a few special announcements. Let's go to reporters Yoshima Kuramaka and Milton Sagardia for the latest in fall sports. Thanks, Ariana. So far, it's been a great start to the season for all the Lady Beavers here at Putnam. The girls' volleyball team has done an amazing job maintaining winning records, and the girls' soccer team has been trailing close behind. They've been working hard to improve their scores. I think if the team grows, the wins will overdo the losses anyway. It'll automatically happen. Um, but. Again, they're a good group of girls, we're a young team, and I think if we can finally start to put things together and pass the ball a little better, we'll make a strong bid at the end. My main goal is to make it to playoffs like we did last year. Um, I feel like if we could do that, especially for my senior year, that'd be amazing and great, and it'd be a good opportunity for like the lower classmen. So with playoffs in mind and the goal of becoming a well-developed team, the girls soccer team will continue to persevere. We've had our ups and downs like in the beginning. We didn't get along too well, but we've come a long way since the beginning. With the talent that we have and the way they're starting to bond, I am anticipating we'll have a strong ending of the season. Let's wish the soccer team luck in all they hope to accomplish. Their next game is tonight at Hopkins Academy at 4 p.m. The girls' varsity volleyball team also has a game tonight at Mahar Regional at 5 p.m. But if you wish to catch the girls' JV volleyball team, their game starts at 4 p.m. That's all for girls' sports. Mutton, what's new with the boys? Well, Jashima, it's been a busy few weeks for boys' sports, and this week hasn't been any different. The varsity football squad had a tough outing last Thursday after losing to Aguam with a disappointing score of 35-7 bringing the record to 1-2. and two. The Beavers got the running game going early. Senior tailback Calvin James cut inside good blocking and got to the outside for a big 38-yard gain. The team's only score came later in the first quarter. Senior safety Jason Rule stepped in front of the receiver and got the distant 53 yards for a touchdown. And there was a great downfield block by linebacker Dermon Eberhardt that made the score 13-6, to six, but Aguan pulled away from there. The Beavers will try to redeem themselves tonight against West Greenfield at 7.45. Now to cross country, where they have continued their hot streak after defeating Chickabee 55-15 to on Monday and setting their record at 3-1. We spoke with head coach William Struthers on how the season's going. Cross country's going pretty well. We're, we, we've got a number of kids, both boys and girls. Um, I think we're over 20 on both sides. Um, and the kids, are, the, the kids are actually progressing pretty well. Dario Alvarez has come in first place in the team's three wins. I had a chance to speak with the star runner. I'm here with junior student Dario Alvarez, cross country athlete. So, how's the season going so far? Um, our season's going great. So far, we're two and one. I came in first place twice of those wins, so it's going it's going pretty good. So, how do you think it's going to end? Um, it's going to end great. I see because we're working hard in practice and we're getting better at every meet we go to. So, we're improving on our times. Hopefully he'll continue his dominance in their next meet against Holyoke on October 4th. That's it for sports. Let's go back to Ariana and Rafael. Thanks, Milton. Up next, flu season is upon us again, and that means it's time for flu shots. Earlier today, we had a chance to talk to the school nurse about how important it is to receive your flu shot. Everyone should get a flu shot every year. Starting in September, usually you can get them from your primary care, pediatrician, or they do have them at pharmacies. It's important to get one every year because this, the flu strain is different, so they reformulate the flu shot every year for that particular strain that they think is gonna hit the hardest during the flu season. Uh, if you had a flu shot the previous year, it's not gonna protect you this year. And everyone should really, students and staff, should get a flu shot because it keeps you healthy and you, you know, you're able to come to school every day. Wow, have you gotten your flu shot yet? No, but I'll make sure I get mine soon. Now on to this week's segment of I've Got Talent. We've come across a student that has some serious rap skills. He's a senior in electric shop, and his name is Marcus McQuarrie. 
Marcus has been rapping since the age of 12. Eminem has been one of the most inspirational influences on his music. I started listening to um, his lyrics. I felt like he had a lot to say. I started doing the same thing. I started making music and started making it about myself. He's participated in a number of school events, including Putnam Project Purple's Drug Awareness Campaign. Marcus helped produce an amazing song and video. Keeping me from popping, the tap is out the balls, looking into the eyes of my mama. The trauma that I felt inside of my heart was nothing said had enough. Put the cap right back over the top. It's amazing to see someone use their talents to spread awareness about the issues going on around us. Keep it up, Marcus. You know what's funny? September is practically over, yet there are still many students still adjusting from their long summer fun. There's one student who had a summer he'll never forget. Reporter Sun Chan has a story in this week's segment of High Profile. Computer mouses are clicking away. People are talking to each other over small cubicles, surrounded by layers and layers of junk. Welcome to Information Technology, home of Brian Velez Morales. Brian is a senior student of Information Technology, but you wouldn't know it by what he did over the summer. Over the summer, I went to basic combat training in Fort Benning, Georgia. For a summer vacation, a time where most students relax and have fun, Brian was training in the National Guard. The, one of the reasons why I wanted to join the, National Guard, uh, the Army National Guard was I wanted to serve my country. Brian was not the only one. Many students flock from all over in hopes of serving their country. I was part of Echo Company in my battalion. It was Alpha, Bravo, uh, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. There was 180, or like a r roughly 180 of us. And training together was certainly no walk in the park. The training consisted of a lot of physical exercise, um, training with different weapon systems, and learning how to shoot, move, and communicate with teammates. It's a lot of physical stress. Um, mental was not very much of a problem with me. I mean, the physical, the physical stress was, yeah, it was tough for everyone. But despite the heavy duty, Brian learned many things during his stay. Doing the right thing even when no one's looking, having integrity, you know, loyalty, um, respect, um, selfless service, being disciplined. Though training has ended, Brian's plans do not stop there. In fact, it's just the beginning for him. After military, sign back up. I do intend on like uh, going to college, getting a degree in most likely computer science and stuff like that. And Brian will continue his path in life, no matter where it leads him. Keep pushing on, Brian. Reporting for TBN, Sun Chong. In this edition of Candid Question, reporter Alexis Williamson asked students about their favorite thing to eat at the Big E. Hi, what is your favorite food at the Big E? My favorite food at the Big E is fried Oreos. You already know. Probably donuts. Yeah, and chicken, <laughs> probably, yeah. Fried Oreos? I ain't never been to the Biggie, but I've heard they've had good food, so, yeah. Fried dough. Hi, what is your favorite thing to eat at the Biggie? Wings. I really like wings. I went on Saturday and got me a bucket of wings. I don't have a favorite food at the Biggie. You no, know why? Because I love food, period. I eat everything. Fried Oreos? The Biggie? What is that? The 12 inch corn dog. My favorite food at the Big E is popcorn. Ramen noodles. <laughs> uh, my favorite food at the Big E, I have to say a crazy burger, you know what I mean? Because I love donuts and I love a hamburger and the bacon, so it makes me want to smack my mama, you know what I mean? So thank you very much. What's your favorite thing to eat at the Big E? My favorite thing to eat at the Big E is fried Oreos. I like the donuts. Uh -huh. That sounds good too. Well, ending our show is the few, the proud, the Marines. Most of us have all heard that slogan before. Sergeants Patrick Clayton and Austin Brozo were at Putnam on Wednesday, talking with potential recruits here in our student body. The Marines and the rest of the military branches are telling a new story, one that prepares their personnel for both humanitarian and military missions. The Marines say it's important for them to have presence in Putnam to achieve that mission. You know, if I go ahead and I pick up a phone call and I call home and 
they don't really have a face to the name and they hear, oh, you know, a United States Marine recruiter is calling. Not many people are really wanting to go ahead and speak to us over the phone rather than when you see someone in person it really go ahead and you can really get on a one-on-one -on -one personal basis with people and really get to know the individual that you're speaking with. Sergeant Brozo says that Senior Amir Garrett is the first senior student to sign up for training. Congrats, Amir. Well, that's it for today's show. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next, next week. week. I get I got talent and high profile then as usual we'll end up the sh show with candid questions We're gonna start over. <laughs> From the top. okay well Jashima it's been a busy few weeks for boys sports and the week oh and this week has see you didn't mess up but now I messed up Sergeant Brozo says that senior Amir Garnett is the first. <laughs> Garnett? <laughs> Garrett. Garrett. There's no N in there. Garrett. Ah! Garrett. Garrett. Garrett.